with that being said the other news of the day is what we talked about the other day the playstation plus there was a, a early leak we talked about it on monday and it is official so let's just go ahead really quick through this here and maybe take a quick look at the trophies for this uh so playstation plus monthly games for july is crash bandicoot 4 it's about time highly recommend that the Dark Pictures Anthology, Man of Medan, and then Arcade Getting, I think is a new game that is coming out. It's in early access right now with PC, but uh, Crash 4 is awesome. If you haven't played Crash 4, I highly recommend it. You got a, a trailer here. Yeah, it's a really great game. Beautiful controls. It's so slick and smooth. It's the PS5 version. This and uh, Arcade Getting is on PS5. Man of Medan and Arcade Again are on PS4. Uh, the Platinum for Crash Bandicoot 4, though, is very, very difficult. We take a, a, a quick peek over here at PSN Profiles. Uh, they have it on their trophy guide listed at 9 out of 10 difficulty with four playthroughs. And it says 100 hours. Uh, I'm going to tell you right now, it doesn't matter how many hours I give you. There's going to be a certain group of people that just can't do it. For me, it's the time trials. Uh, we're also getting the Dark Pictures Anthology. This is from Supermassive Games. We know this from the creators of Until Dawn. There it is on the screen. Uh, this is the first in their anthology. Anthology is a bunch of different stories uh, spanning across many different games. Uh, there, it's the same concept and idea as Until Dawn. I, I have not actually played this first one, believe it or not. But if we look over to PSN Profiles Trophy Guide, 2 out of 10 difficulty. And it's not going to be very difficult because of these types of games. You just need to know what you need to select uh, when given a choice, what option. Uh, and it says uh, four playthroughs, 30 hours on that. So yeah, four playthroughs on that. That's going to be fun. And then the final game is Arcade Again. This is from Ilphonic. This is the same... Uh, studio who made uh, Predator Hunting Grounds and Friday the 13th. So I'm a little curious if if this is going to be a 100-hour platinum like their other games are. Presumably it will be. This is a uh, similar to those other ones. This is a four-person co-op. You can also play it solo or with three other people. As you can see, it's vastly different than their horror genre. This kind of looks a bit like Fortnite and Knockout City. <laughs> A little bit of a combination of the of the two as far as the art styles go. So this is the trophy list for the game. Of course, it has a platinum, 51 trophies total. And it seems to be pretty straightforward. I, I mean, I don't really know by looking at this. It says you got to defeat all four bosses in a single run. This could be a little challenging. It is gold. Another gold one here is collect 50 figurines. I don't understand how the figurines work. Obviously, it's probably collectible since you have to collect it, but... I'm um, not sure if that's some kind of like random thing like Returnal as I hope not. Uh, other than that, you have to get, uh, collect half a million tickets, the Ticket Titan trophy. Uh, uh, that could take a hundred hours. I don't really know. I don't know enough about this game uh, to be able to, to uh, tell you. But other than that, the rest of the trophies get 500 kills with Militech weapons, Nanotech weapons, Zero Cool weapons. So it's gonna be one of those you just gotta grind it out. How many hours is that gonna take? Who knows? Uh, just a reminder, again, on the main channel, we are gonna do golf with your friends with the Trophy Club. So if you remember the other channel, just remember we're going to stream two o'clock, members only. If you have golf with your uh, friends, you don't have to buy the DLC. We are playing the new Bouncy Castle course. It's gonna be fun.